Hi Floss Tube. My name is Carrie with Tiger Lily Designs. This is going to be a video podcast format. I'm going to give you a little introduction to myself and the studio. Um, try my hand at a Floss Tube episode number one. My hope is with my YouTube channel, I'm going to be able to show you guys a little bit of what more I do in the studio. Um, uh, you know, quilting, stitching, crafting, all the things. Um, I enjoy watching uh, Floss Tube and YouTube and seeing all the different things. I get inspired by so many of you. And so I thought, well, you know, maybe I can inspire someone. Um, so I, I just wanted to do a little introduction today. Today will be my first floss tube. Let me just start off by saying, I will talk really fast. I talk really fast on a good day. Add the nervousness associated with talking to a random um, phone camera right there. And I'm probably gonna go lightning speed. So I just wanna apologize now if I talk way too fast. Um, but that's just who I am. I'm a very animated, very loud, very fa fast talker. Um, if any of you are of my generation and you watch the Gilmore Girls, the Lorelei and Rory, I've been uh, told that I can talk just as fast as Lorelei and, um, I, and I, I take that as the compliment. Um, so today I'm just gonna give you a little bit. It's not gonna be a normal one. I have no idea the format of how I'm gonna do these floss tubes. Um, so just bear with me. Hopefully you'll see something you like. Hopefully you'll come back again. I would love for you to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, all the things you do. Like I said, my first one out there, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I have no idea if anybody's gonna even watch it, but you know what? We're gonna give it a whirl. So the first thing I wanna do is just give you a little bit about who I am, what I do, um, you know, basically why would you wanna watch me? So. Like I said, my name is Carrie. I live in Northern Virginia. I am a 45 year old um, mom of two teenagers. My son is headed off to college in less than a month. And then my daughter will be doing her senior year um, this year as well. Um, live in Percival, Virginia, have lived here all my life. Um, my family is nearby. I have, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have both my parents here, my brothers and sisters. Um, and so we get a lot of family time in. Um, so I've been quilting. I started quilting um, basically right after my son was born. So 18, 19 years ago, uh, you know, I bought my first sewing machine when... I wanted to hang curtains in my house and I went to the custom fabric store and they were going to charge me like crazy amounts of money for what I thought was I'm um, just some straight lines. I can sew straight lines. So then I entered the world of sewing machines, had curtains up in my first house, did some home deck projects. Um, got into quilting uh, about 10 years ago. I started with a t-shirt quilt. Uh, my family is a Clemson Tiger fan family. Um, and so we have lots and lots of gear associated with the school. And so rather than just keep storing the things that the kids were outgrowing, I couldn't get rid of it. Um, I decided to make a, a quilt out of that first one. And my t-shirt quilts aren't exactly the same like the ones that you can see online. They're different. They're kind of like a blend of the traditional quilting and t-shirt quilting. And so, um, like I said, I started it as individually as my own, uh, to, just something I wanted. And it has spiraled into a almost full-time business for me. So I do t-shirt quilts. Like I said, they are not the traditional ones you see. Um, I brought one just so you guys can see. This is the one that just came off the long arm yesterday. It's a commission quilt for a mom. And so you can see, see how my style is a little different. It's not just the t-shirt. It's the t-shirt framed in white, and then it's got an accent fabric. Um, so that way, um, you, you know, it, it makes it look a little different. It's a unique style. 
it definitely takes these memories out of the storage rooms that normally people end up storing the things that are precious to them but don't fit anymore aren't their style anymore and this way it gives them a new life um everything is done by me in my studio and then i long arm it and then i hand sew the binding so that's the only thing that this one is waiting for and then this one will ship out back to um to the customer hopefully by the end of the week so that's what i do that's my day job um one of my day jobs i've got a full-time number crunching day job too but that one's not as fun to talk about um in in this environment so um i got into stitching so let's switch gears when did i come back to cross stitching um you're like this is floss tube carrie let's start talking about cross stitching okay don't worry i will um cross stitching you know if i'm hand stitching the quilts all the time i um i find myself I'm one of those people that watches TV and I can't have idle hands. I mean, I can't just watch the TV. I have to be multitasking. And so, you know, the my bi quilt binding keeps me busy a lot of the times, um, but sometimes it doesn't. And so I, I was looking for something to fill those voids when I didn't have any quilts ready for the hand binding process. So I, I reverted back to, I took I picked up cross stitch when I was 12 years old. Um, what am I, somebody in my dad's life introduced it to me when I was 12 years old and I can still go into his house and see, you know, this country bear apple thing that I did one day. I'll get it from him and, uh, bring it on here to show you. But you know, so it's a 30 year old piece. He still hangs it up in his kitchen. And it's one of those things where I was like, you know what? I enjoy that. And and the world of cross stitch has changed so much from 30 years ago. I mean, I don't need to tell you this. Um, you know, the, the fabrics and the flosses and the patterns. Oh my, it's not just like, let's go to Michael's and, and pick a thing. No, it, the whole world of designers it, and as being someone who appreciates color and fabric and all the things, I totally geeked out on, on, um, I'm deep diving into this hobby. So I, I picked quilt, I picked cross stitch back up maybe two years ago. Um, and it's just as much fun collecting the fabrics and the flosses and the threads. And to be honest, being a quilter part one, making the project bags was a little bit of an addiction. I'm not going to lie. You know, being able to put, uh, these fun projects into these unique one of a kind bags was just as much fun as actually sitting there and stitching them. Um, so, uh, that's my history. That's my story. Um, at least the beginning of, I'm sure over time I may introduce to bits here's a, here's and there's, um, more about who I am and what I do. Um, I hope you, you come back. My, my plan is to, uh, post these every Friday if I commit to it, and if I tell you guys, I can't not do it. Um, you know, I'll be honest, I've been contemplating the concept of a floss tube YouTube channel for Tiger Lily Designs for probably two years now. Why I didn't do it in 2020 when I was sitting at home for 18 months, you know, it, I don't know. But today I just decided, you know what? Push the button, push the record button. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Um, so I did. Um, so I decided uh, today is just going to be a short one. Well, relatively, who knows? I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm not going to show you everything. I'm going to, so that way, hopefully you'll come back and see something new. I wanted to show you a couple of the things I'm working on. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, which is tiger.lily, L-I-L-Y dot designs is my Instagram handle. Um, I'll put it down in the comments or in the information box below 
I would love for you to follow me. I, sh I try to post daily and, and show you guys either what quilt I'm working on in the studio, which is so fun to see these people's unique stories, their unique collections come to life. And every single one of them is totally different. Um, and then I, I offset it with, you know, my hobby part, which is the stitching fun and whether it's the project bags and, um, or the actual stitching and what designers I'm loving at the moment. Um, so follow me on Instagram. Um, but I'm going to show you just a couple of the whips that I have in my whip basket upstairs, um, by my, uh, by my stitching couch. I don't have a stitching chair. Like a lot of people have stitching chairs. I have a hell couch because really I have to set up my thing and then I have the lights and, and, and I just, I couldn't fit it all in the chair, which is fine. I've got a big old couch. It's just me on the couch. Um, spreading out, getting everything I need to get done. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of the whips that I'm working on. Maybe you've probably seen all of them. I mean, listen, I watch Floss Tube when I'm sewing, when I'm stitching. Um, and, and so I'm sure you've seen them all, but maybe I'm using something different, something you haven't seen before. Um, this is the first one I'm going to show you. Like I said, my addiction does not just stop with the floss too or with the with the fabric and the flosses and the patterns it's just as much part of the project bags um so I'm working on coming up with a pattern well you know I get to keep all the prototypes which is great um so I I'm, I might add them to my shop I might not I might just do a tutorial showing you my favorite style that I've come up with I kind of call it my project folder um, so this is my project folder that I have tweaked probably 10 times to come up with this actual design. Um, my favorite part is the patchwork because it's all the fun fabrics. I mean, yum. Um, it's on a foam interfacing. Um, and then inside you open it up. You can see this is the one I was stitching on just last night. Um, inside it's got a double zipper so and vinyl. And then you've got pockets underneath on both sides. So it's really, really functional, especially for, you'll see later on, I've got a project that probably has 10 patterns in it and it can totally handle it and you know can handle all of that. Um, so you could put multiple patterns, multiple projects, all in one folio. Anyway, so this is my favorite one. One I was working on just last night. This is um, Blackberry House by Plum Street Samplers. Um, you know, Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch, I'm going to tell you, is the one that made me go pause the button and go and put this in my cart. Um, I loved her finish. So when I do finish it, it's totally inspired by her. Um, so another thing that I do is I put my patterns, don't look at the pattern, but I look, put my patterns in those protective sleeves. You can get it off as depot just because I feel like it works better. Um, so this is what I've got my progress so far. I am so close. Um, I'm an Ada stitcher. So, you know, that's not exactly what everybody does. I love linen. Love it. It, it is gorgeous. And, and the, uh, the colors and, and the texture that these dyers are able to get with the linens is just gorgeous. But my eyes don't do linen. Um... I just, I mean, I would, it was frustrating. I can tell you, I've tried like on two or three different occasions trying to do that with the magnifiers and the go lamps and the halo lights and all the things that you could do. And I could see it, but it was not enjoyable. Um, and you know what? This is, that's exactly what this hobby is supposed to be. It's supposed to be enjoyable. So um, I said, forget it. Ada is my jam and I'm okay with it. And these designers are, are, um, and designing patterns for the most part that will easily stitch on Ada versus linen. And, um, the fabric dyers, thankfully play with Ada too. And so I'm able to have fun with them. So this is a 16 count picture. This plus Tyco that I got from one, two, three stitch. And as you can see, I am almost done. Um, I think, I don't even know. I think I have 
Um, a couple more stars. I am changing this. Sorry for the wrinkles. I totally should have ironed, but I didn't. Um, I'm, I'm changing, tweaking the design a little bit. I'm not putting the box around here. I'm not putting the border at the top. The frame that I got to go with, to put this in is a little bit shorter, so it couldn't handle that. So like I said, I'm almost done with this. I'm hoping in the next week or so that I'm going to be able to, to get that one framed. Um, another thing about me is that I am a uh, do-it-yourself framer. Um, I love... I love seeing the when people send them away and they get them framed by the professional people. Um, and they're gorgeous. But the reality is, is my budget doesn't allow it. And I'm okay with that. Um, I feel like I can get thrifty and hit consignment shops and thrift shops and do all the things to try to find something that is gonna work, whether I have to paint it or tweak it or, you know, tweak the design a little bit or paint the frame because it's a, uh, you know, 1960s style color, or whatever. Um, that's kind of half the fun for me. So um, I, I, I've been trying to do these finish with me videos. That's where I started. There's a couple time-lapse videos on Instagram showing you start to finish of me finishing um, both a couple pillow, like Dobo pillows, as well as frame pieces with Hobby Lobby frames and thrift store frames. And I'll show you, I've got a couple pieces that are ready to go in the frames and the frames are mid prep. So hopefully in the next week or so, I'll be able to get those done. Um, so here's another one I want to show you guys. This was the first project bag I did. Um, it's a cute 12 by 12 size and these are Allison glass fabrics. So, so yummy. Um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. Um, so hello from Liz Matthews. I mean, if you haven't seen this, I don't know what rock you've been under, but I, I love everything she does. You'll see probably at least three of her patterns in today's video. Um, first day of Christmas is gorgeous. I love the series. I'm definitely a Christmas junkie. Um, I did something different with this one. I did not use called floor floss. I used a Miss Satis conversion. So Miss Satis silks, um, you know, Liz talks about using silks. Love them. Um, I, now let me say, I never stitched with silk. But Liz told me that they were fabulous, so okay, I'll give it a whirl. But the reality is, is the MPI silks um, be, are, are expensive. And again, it goes back to budget and, and choosing where I want to spend my dollar. And so not that Miss Satis, Miss Satis is a Spain hand silk dyer that I found on Etsy. I'm also an Etsy junkie. So um, I found her on Etsy, gave her silks a whirl with just, I bought one color, you know, slow boat over from Spain, but it got here. I loved it. And so what I did, treated myself for this past Christmas, is I got myself her entire color collection. Um, if you haven't seen it, like put it on your Christmas list now. Uh, all the colors. So, yeah, so, so, so yummy. Um, so what I decided to do for Liz's pattern was do my own color conversion using Miss Seda Silk. Uh, I have it listed in my Instagram somewhere, it will show you what colors I use. But this is the first day of Christmas and it's done. Um, the only thing I have to do is add my initials, the date and year at the bottom. Um, and so I'm ready to move on to day number two. Hopefully, you know, she just came out. Of course, I have all the patterns ready to go, two, three, and four. Um, slowly but surely. I haven't quite figured, figured out how I'm gonna finish those, whether I'm gonna put them all together in some kind of wall hanging which is kind of what I'm leaning towards, um, I'll be honest. Um, another one that is a, let's, a bag that I came up with was this one. So this yummy, yummy fabric, Amy Butler Vintage Fabrics. Listen, as a fabric hoarder, I'll call myself a hoarder. It's okay. Um, I have some vintage fabrics, and it's one of those things where I don't want to use it unless I'm going to love it. And, and, oh my gosh. So anyhow, um, so this, this was like my biggest sampler, you know, like go big, go home. And so I was watching all the YouTube, all the floss tubes and Teresa Kogan. I miss uh, last spring. I saw this one half a dozen times and every time I was like, oh, 
I need it. I need, it's going to take me like four years, but I love it. Um, so I got it. Land that I love, Teresa Hogan. And again, because I'm an Ada stitcher, it's going to look different than most of the ones that you've seen. And again, this was early on in my coming back to floss, to, uh, coming back to cross stitch. And so this is not only Ada, it's Ada 14 count. So um, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see the whole thing because it's so big. But I'm close. I'm really, really close. Um I, I think that it's, you know, I had a goal. <laughs> this is a, this is a gift for somebody special who's super patriotic. Um, and, and I can't wait for it. The, it birthday, their birthday is coming gone. Um, so, and it didn't get finished, but that's okay. So I'm shooting now new goal and that's okay. Goals are always moving new goal Christmas of 21. And I think I can do it if I, um, stitch on it pretty regularly. I think I'm close enough where I can get her done. Cross your fingers, come back. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, so the next one I wanna show you, I've only got two more to show you and, and then we'll wrap it up. Goodness knows how long I've been talking, but um, this is another one of my uh, folder bags that I do. This vintage lace I got at a thrift store. I mean, yummy, and then the folder. And then of course you open it up again. The, the double zippers, all the things. And this is the one I was talking about where I have multiple patterns. So this is my anniversaries of the heart. Again, nothing new. You've seen this. Half a dozen million, zillion people are doing this one. And they're all gorgeous and they're all unique. Um, you know, the, the colors, I mean, yum. Blackbird can do no wrong. I mean, really. Um... Brenda and Laura, do not lie. Buy all the blackbirds. It's just the rule that you should do. But the, the I love this one. Again, I started it this year. Big plans. One block per month. It's going to be done. And it didn't happen. I squirreled with everybody else. I mean, I can squirrel with the best of them. But I'm making progress. And that's what counts. One day, it'll be done. So, again, because it's Ada. I think it's 16 count Ada. I don't even remember. I'm definitely using most of the called for flosses. Um, as you know, because a lot of these patterns are like five, 10, eight years old, the dye has have changed a little bit. This isn't new to you. Um, but I really wanted to use the pictures from the, as my color inspiration. So if I went to my local quilt shop or my local needlework shop and the new dive color or the new color wasn't exactly jamming with what the cover photo was, I tweaked it. I got no problem tweaking it, but I'm trying to stay inspiration. So called for inspired for sure. Um, I've got two blocks almost done. The first one is totally done. Um, this is I, of course, I'm doing the totally out of order. Don't, you know, I, I be, anyhow, um, this one I did for my daughter. Her name is Lily. I've got her name on it and her birthday. And I did this one for her because she got me this pattern for Christmas last year. Um, I sent her to the one, two, three stitch and said, okay, here's the half a dozen things that I love, you know, pick out whatever you want, put it under the tree. So she, um, kitted this one up with uh, the pattern and all the floss for me because her brain was just like, um, why is the moth as big as the house? That just like, it, it intrigued her completely. So of course that had to be her black. Um, and now I've moved on to the pink house, which I'm actually doing for uh, my paternal grandmother. Her name is Maxine. And um, so I, I, I have um, what I did is I printed out somebody else on the Facebook. There's that Black Book Bird um, Anniversaries of the Heart Facebook group that I joined. And I was able to print out somebody's finish just to use as representation. And so I know who's going where. Um, that was my biggest like hurdle as to how to start because I didn't want, I wanted to make sure that I knew what family member was gonna go in what block especially since I was doing them out of order and like, so slowly but surely I'll get to that one. But I'll be honest, you know, I, I scroll with the best of them and I kind of, these long-term projects are super fun, 
but then I also like to do a little quick finish and, and, and that's the kind of thing. So, um, one more thing I have to show you is in one another one of my, uh, folder bags. Um, I think this was my most recent Instagram post and I've got, um, this is the Plum Street salt boxes. There's summer, there's autumn, winter, and spring. Um, I'm, I'm doing them all on one piece. And because um, I love them and I toy between, do I want to make dough bowls? To be honest with you, I don't even have a dough bowl yet. I've got dough bowl pillows. But I'm still on the hunt for the dough bowl at the antique shops. So I decided that um, I was going to stitch this all in one piece rather than making more pillows for a dough bowl I don't have yet. Um, so this is my progress so far. I, I've got winter almost done. You can see that some of the part, I didn't have some DMCs. Um, for the other parts of the winter houses and the reindeer's little antlers are done. But then I moved on to spring. Um, I really like fill-in stitching. So like when you're filling in the houses, like this blue house right here, it's got the thread and whatever. So I can just sit there and mindlessly, and mindlessly stitch if I'm, um, you know, in, in doing something where I kind of, can only half pay attention um and so i love having a lot of different projects in fill-in stages for for when those opportunities arise so um those are just a few of the whips that i have going on right now um like i said i am super excited i'm going to try to commit to no i'm going to commit every friday I can't tell you what it could be five minutes, but I'm going to do it. YouTube Friday, Tiger Lily Designs. Again, I'm going to try to show you, um, you know, cross stitch my whips. Maybe I'll actually bring the finishes off of Instagram and do a finish with me, like right here um, on, on YouTube. So you guys can see um, exactly what I'm doing with the foam board and the pinning and, uh, and, and, and so that way, maybe you can DIY yourself and save some of those framing monies to get yourself some more patterns. Um, you know, as a quilter, I am going to add some quilting things to this video. Uh, like I said, uh, the actual quilting, uh, maybe some project bags, maybe uh, some, I got a couple different products that I do that are gift givings. And, you know, I would love to share you guys, have you guys get ramped up. Maybe make yourself some Christmas gifts to give out to family this year. Um, you know, sewing's not that hard. Uh, there are some things that are hard. I'm not going to lie. You know, putting a zipper on, it takes a little practice. But like I said, I started with a, um, that's just some straight lines. You can do straight lines. I promise you, you can do it. And they don't even have to be that straight. Um, but so... In, in an effort to come back, I hope that you will, I'm going to do a giveaway today. Um, what you have to do to win the giveaway, just like everybody else, you have to like, subscribe, and comment. Down below, like, subscribe, and comment. Real easy. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, who wants to be my Project Bag Twinsie? Okay, I made two of them. I don't need two of them. I really, do I need one? No, I don't need one. Do I want one? Yes, yes, I do. Um, but I would love to have a project bag twin out in the world that there is. So super adorbs. You can choose whether you want the orange or pink zipper. It doesn't matter to me when you're the winner. Um, I'll let you choose. But it's super fun, bright um, fabrics, fun gumball print on the side on the inside and of course they're all quilted and lined you know it's got the batting and the quilting and, and all the things and it's a good I think it's a 15 inch by 15 inch like I said I've been doing a couple different sizes um this one is 15 by 15 um so it'll hold your 11 by 11 q snap and all the things so um I would love this is my my first YouTube giveaway 
Um, so I would love for you to like, subscribe, and comment. What comment do you need to say? What word do you need to say to, 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 to win? Gumball. All one word, gumball. See the gumball machine with the little hearts? I mean, it's adorable. But um, So we're going to go with gumball. So use gumball in your comment. Um, and I will use the YouTube random comment generator picker to choose my winner next week when I load up. I will tell you guys who won. And hopefully I'll have some progress on the whips I showed you today. Maybe come back and show you some of the other whips I have going on. Uh, I'm not going to do a whip parade because I'm totally not ready for that in, you know, episode number two. But slowly but surely, maybe I'll ramp up and, and be ready. Uh, I, I hope I didn't talk too fast. I hope this wasn't like crazy bonkers for you. Again, um, my name is Carrie with Tiger Lily Designs. Um, I hope you come back. Have a great day. Bye.